It's baseline. So I'm always interested in any new drug. And yesterday, uh, I smoked something called DMT. I believe that's the acronym. Don't know what it stands for. Didn't care. I know about the drug. I've talked to a lot of people out here at Baseline that have tried it. And they call it ego death. Uh, they say you die when you use it. Apparently, it's the sand of the leftovers after you burn a body of a human into a cinder. And then you smoke it, and what I experienced was not very comfortable. Um, I enjoy drugs. What I experienced was a stoppage of time. I was absolutely amazed. It came on absolutely suddenly after smoking it from a bowl of a buddy of mine that we were standing on Haight Street when it happened. And a total stoppage of time, which I found uncomfortable, but I think explains terms like ego death and why someone would think they die when they do it. Because life has a linear fashion to it. And, you know, if you smoke pot, you drink a beer, you do some acid, you do whatever, time moves. This drug actually stopped time. It was the most amazing experience I've ever had. And I was enormously uncomfortable with it because I move forward. I am a forward motion machine. And I felt trapped in it. There are very few drugs that I've ever done that I felt trapped inside, that I didn't have freedom to play with or work with or manipulate or take advantage of. But this one, very dangerous drug. I do not recommend doing this drug. And I know that that negative recommendation is, you know, you put the cookie jar up as high as you can and it's just going to make the kid climb higher. So I would beware of this drug, but it is a very interesting thing. It stops time. In the American Homeless Companion, we talk about dense now and how time and calendaring can be removed. Here's something that's immediate. Immediate destination to it. Um, very frightening. I did not find it comfortable at all. Space line.